Good morning from the ocean. We are ready to kick off a sea day full of fullness and fun. It is a beautiful day out there. That's true. So we're going to go eat some breakfast at the galley because mm. that is the only option unless you make a brunch reservation. Oh, true. But there's plenty of options up there. And then we're going to go check out the gym because mm. we have not seen it yet and we need to get our fitness in. Yeah, conveniently located just outside the galley. So you eat and you flow right into fitness. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll see what we get up to this later. This later. Later on <laughs> this morning. Sounds like a plan. Let's, Let's roll. So welcome back to the galley. Well, we've each started off with a berry bento box and we've got coffee and various beverages. Dee has selected a nice, dainty, healthy oatmeal. Aww. She has also got two eggs over medium and some bacon. I have decided it is time for my once per cruise breakfast indulgence and this is the French toast burger. Uh, it's got French toast. It's got um, like eggs and bacon and all that stuff. It's got syrup and I'm going to the gym after this. So hey! Just a few steps outside the galley. There's a gym. Tons of lockers. Towels to grab. A nice little machine where you can fill up cups of water or you know bottles if you got them. Sparkling water. Is it sparkling? Oh yeah, see the choice up above. Fun fact, the gym has multiple sides. We went in the wrong side first. This is the side we need. And they don't seem to connect other than via the elevator lobby or the pool deck. Oh, they do have fans on here. You just have to hit this little icon in the corner and it comes out down the bottom. Little things where I can walk along the beach or walk along a dusty road or just look out the window. Mile and a half at about three percent incline. Hopefully, I burned yeah. off at least one piece of bacon. Mm, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> well, we have a note on the bed about February being the month of love, and they're celebrating the love of travel, and they're going to be cleaning balconies tomorrow. Well, a little bit of work and a wardrobe change later, we're going to grab a quick bite for lunch and then head off to something fun. <laughs> Six, seven. Hello, Social Club. I forget they always have this, like, free treats out here in this cabinet. They got free candy you're just allowed to come ask for. It's a great place. The menu today is those three styles of hot dogs or pretzels or chicken wings or popcorn. They got natural wings or buffalo wings. Well, we're in here next to the gaming table, so excuse any gaming noises you might hear, but Dee got a pretzel with some green chili cheese and some natural wings. I got a Philly hot dog and a pretzel as well. And of course, some included sodas. And now I feel the need, the need for caffeine. They've got a whole thing out here where you can reserve to learn about coffee. Ooh. Well, they were doing a game show back there in the roundabout. Anyway, we're heading up to the Red Room. It is time for Bingo with the Diva. Cards acquired, let's get in here. It's a bingo party. So they sell the cards in packs of threes and we're gonna play four games using this same uh, set of cards here. It's $30 for one, $45 for two sets, or $55 for three sets. Woo! Never played bingo. Hello! <laughs> you don't have a VFW in your hometown. Before we get started, my sweet friends, we have some rules. We some housekeeping, yes? All right, let's get to the rules, people. You let's know go. how it goes. Here we go. Here we let's... go. Getting close. Oh, oh. When you're one number away from bingo, stand up, wave your arms, and scream, Dixie, I'm close. Everybody try that. Red line, use that free space. Yes. Everybody got that? My friends, we are playing for $785. Woo! I 29. We got a big out! There you go, my love. Take that card. You can fit around the front and right over to our cashier over there. Oh, I here love you go. Lines of 
three in any way, not touching that free space. So it's going to be on the outside of your card. We are playing four. It was. Oh, it's, it's a good number today. Is it? I love it. One thousand five. Mini game, okay? Oh, okay? So why don't you go ahead and okay. you find someone on that side of the room. Okay. I'll find somebody okay. over here. Let's take a look at this first image and guess, is this a bug or a berry? <laughs> Zoom it right on in and we're going to take a look. Is this a seashell or a toenail? The pattern we are playing is a crazy T. This is a T. Upside down, tilted, upright, all around, boom. Use that free space, my friends. All right, friends, for this round, we are playing Drum roll. 2,355 dollars. I know, I know, y'all. Okay, everybody, we got a bingo. All right. You're going to welcome to my Diva Academy today. So go ahead and put your papers down, put everything on the floor. You're going to stand up where you are. You're going to use your arms and everything. It is a cross pattern. Use that free space. For this round, you are playing for 3,100 yeah. Good thing, yeah. Please be sure to come by and check us out later today. We are all over the ship. Ooh, tea time is happening here at SIP. That's an up charge. Ah, the seahorse race is happening too. One of these seahorses and their owner will walk away with a jackpot prize of $742.50. I will shake these dice. I'm going to roll a number. So in this instance, it's a three, a three, and a four. That seahorse will move forward with all responding spaces. And in the unlikely case where two seahorses finish at the exact same time, those two seahorses and those two seahorses alone will come back all the way to the beginning to start the race over again. The first time that a sailor lands on a starfish, that sailor will have the choice if they want to come up and spin our wheel. Now what is all the loot they have? Some of it is good, some of it not as good, but there's also an opportunity for a free drink, my friends. Well, while we're in the neighborhood, we figure it's time for a scoop. We've got key lime pie. Oh, I see. Orange ricotta. So there's more flavors that are on the sign, obviously. Pistachio. Well, I got key lime pie and orange ricotta. A little citrus party in a bowl. You got key lime and vanilla in a chocolate cone. Mm -hmm. We are going to head back to the cabin for some afternoon evening preparations and then we'll see you later. Good, Good evening. Yeah, it is evening. It is, yeah. I was going to say afternoon, but that's wrong. <laughs> we are getting ready to head up to the perch, which is an area we have not seen yet on this ship. Ooh. Um, deck 17, back of the ship for an exclusive loyal to cocktail party. It's part of your deep blue extras. So when you do your status match from one cruise line to the other and you get approved, that's part of the perks. Mm. If, it depends on what you match into, but yeah. That's true. We've been using a lot of these perks and I like them. They're really good, yeah. So we'll head up there. We've mm -hmm. got dinner tonight at Gun Bay, which is one of the more interactive, <laughs> uh, lively, fun experiences. It I'll is. try to see how much of it I can capture in a good way. But you play drinking games at the table. You sit with strangers. Mm -hmm. You eat a lot of good food. It's all good fun. Yeah. So party, Gun Bay, stuff. That's yeah. the plan. Come on. Get <laughs> They've got a whole boxing ring and everything out here. I forgot about that. All this crazy, like, fitnessy equipment and stuff. Anyway, let's head to the back of the ship. Little beds and nets and whatnot. This is deck 16. Yeah, this is going to take us by the basketball court or sports court. Then we have to go up a deck to get to the perch. Oh, they got cool little round swings. They got the whole walking track up here on 17. And we have found the entrance. So we are pretty much the originators of the line. There's a few of us up here. 
Now we wait. Oops, apparently they have opened the other side, even though the uh, sailing club sign was there. Let's roll. Oh, I see some glasses of beverages. Got some tunes playing. Oh, so they got that pink champagne. Looks like they've got sangria possibly as well. our way to the other side of the galley. There we have it, Gun Bay Korean Barbecue. So we serve it in the form of a drinking game as part of the Gambit experience. So that's how we play the game. Okay. All right. 81. 82. 4. 85. 87. 88. Ah! Oh, he got it! He got it! That hurts my brain. time before our show of the evening so we've landed here in the old sip champagne lounge what is fun on the menu it's all champagne based oh, drinks true. which makes sense but they also sell caviar Ooh. if you are so inclined we are full so we're not going to do that true plus i don't really want to pay 185 dollars for fish eggs but, no you know, thanks hey to each his own right uh and then they just have wine and then champagne and like very expensive champagne. Don't Perignon. No, thank you. And sparkling wine. And cognac, beer, and spirit free. So yeah, but it's a nice place to hang out for sure. Yo, are we cheap because we don't want to spend 600 or some dollars on a champagne and some fish eggs and. I don't think that makes us cheap. I think that makes us frugal. That's which right. Is very good. Do y'all enjoy the Dom Perignon and the caviars? Please tell me in the comments. Have you had the Dom Perignon? All I know is like the rappers would sing about Dom and Cristal. I've well, had did, neither. Like, MTV Cribs, they all had it in their fridge. Uh huh. Too. Yeah. They just kept one bottle in there. They never drank it because they'd have to buy another one. <laughs> they just had that one bottle you'd always see. I'm sure somebody in the comments has had this. And then they would Let go. Us know. They, is it worth the price? They would go into bedroom and say, "This is where the magic happens." That it was every episode of Cribs. Y'all remember that? Anyway, it's like so old school. Here we are. <laughs> it's showtime. I don't know much of anything about this show. Okay, we're set up in a traditional theater style. Please know that the video recording of any of our shows on board is strictly prohibited. Good, Good night. night. We are back in the cabin. It's that time again. <laughs> it is, you know, so I guess let's just wrap up the evening. I know we, we probably didn't talk a whole lot about the day, but you saw what we did during the day. It was all fun. Yeah. 
All of it. Every little bit of it. So let's talk about the show. Yeah. What was it called? Ships in the Night. Yeah. Do Never seen this Ships in the Night one. or just Ships in the Night? I, I think, think it's uh, newer oh. and on Scarlet Lady. I don't know if it's on the other ships or not. Um, yeah. So it was kind of like, what would you call it? Like an uh, interpretive dance show with I a storyline so. of two people who work really hard and like get to, like meet each other, you know, um, on like a coincidence and there's lots of songs that pertain to that and dance moves and things like that. It was good. Like I enjoyed the dancing and the song choice. The storyline was a little, you know, we were sitting with some people and they, yeah, no, it went over a lot of people's heads. Yeah, but they didn't enjoy it. Somebody really. somewhere thought that was a cool storyline. Yeah. I mean, like you said, it was artsy. It was very artsy. It yeah. was edgy. Mm -hmm. Very modern feeling. Yeah. Um, I read the description. I got a little bit of the storyline, but overall I, I enjoyed the dancing. I enjoyed the visuals. Yeah. Didn't really get the story, but That's I enjoyed okay. it. If you don't concentrate on that, it's beautiful. Like, very uh, well presented, you know? If you ignore the storyline. Well. No, I, I do actually a lot of times just sit back and take in the visuals yeah. and the songs and don't really try to follow a story. And I enjoy very many shows that way. Yeah. Well, because if you try and think of it too much, you might stop enjoying it, right? That's true. Yeah. That's funny because you said earlier one of the main themes was like, get off your phone so that you can experience life and all. And it's funny because this cruise line, you are stuck to your phone. You to have your phone because they don't do announcements and stuff. No. I was like, oh, that's an oxymoron. Yeah. But besides that, it was yeah, You need it for everything yeah. on this ship. Your reservations, your... <laughs> mm. Updates, all that. Anyway, um, and dinner, I actually did not take dinner photos tonight. So you saw what we mm. ate? I don't know the words for half of what we ate. It's all good. It was. Some Everybody of it they that. just bring to you and some of it you order yourself. Um, just read the description. If it sounds like it's appealing to you, get it. <laughs> yeah, all I know is we had some nice spicy crunchy fried chicken. There was what mm -hmm. they call a seafood corn dog. That was really good. And my favorite meat bites, well, I like the shrimp, mm -hmm. and I really like that pork, and I like that beef. Yeah, the beef mm. was really, it was like a teriyaki beef. And we had amazing table mates, mm. so you do sit with other people and just make friends, you know? You have a yeah. lot in common. We all are from, like, the same area, so that was just funny. And I think <laughs> I tied for first place for the drinking game, so hey! That was good. <laughs> I think I won by default because when you get to 100, apparently the game stops. Anyway. True. Y'all, we're going to bed. Tomorrow is Bimini Day. Yay! We're so excited to check that out. Because you know what? Last time we sailed Virgin, we missed Bimini. So. Hush your mouth. Here it is. <laughs> Got them fingers crossed. We're going to Bimini tomorrow. And my toes are crossed. Oh. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Good night. <laughs>